Demanding change and better living conditions. Members of Crystal Towers United held a protest outside the Housing Authority of Winston-Salem today during a monthly Board of Commissioners meeting. The group is demanding repairs to what they're calling current deplorable living conditions. A crowd of protesters gathering outside the Housing Authority of Winston-Salem Tuesday, demanding change and better living conditions at Crystal Towers. We don't have elevators that work. We have bed bug infested people coming in and out. Residents say for several months now they've only had one working elevator. It's one elevator working and you got 200 and something tenants. Can you imagine what's this like? Aside from elevator issues, they say management also recently decided to move laundry facilities to the first floor so residents will no longer have access to washers and dryers on their own floors. I live on the 11th floor. I've been in Crystal Towers going on 13 years. I can't hardly walk. I have asthma and COPD and they got one elevator working. It takes me 45 minutes to walk from that bottom step to the top. I can't do it no more. The Housing Authority has already invested about a million dollars in fixing the building. I think it's real. Uh, we empathize, we understand, and we're doing the best we can to fix it. By the time the renovations needed are completed, the Housing Authority estimates it will cost at least $10 million. Funds the organization says it just doesn't have. The Housing Authority does not have anywhere near that amount of money. With limited affordable housing opportunities throughout the city, residents are just left to wait for repairs and hopes they'll happen soon. We have roaches. We have all these things going on. We got appliances that, are fa that fail, but we can't get any help. And the Housing Authority says it plans to have the first elevator fixed by later on this year and the second one fixed by the first quarter of 2024.